in the background here, you can play the sounds of the hustle and bustle of the city with the honking horns and the blah, blah, blah. I don't know whether Boston ever can be described as a hustle and bustling city. I think we're too tame a city to do that. But yesterday I was out with my fellow urban sketchersers and we were at Copley Square in Boston, which is a chunk of land in between Trinity Church at one end and the Boston Public Library at the other. And as quite often happens at these events, um, the artists will pick a spot and render it carefully. Some people were looking toward Trinity Church. Some people were sitting on the steps of Trinity Church looking at the library across the park area. Um, I, on the other hand, just wandered aimlessly and aim fully uh, attacking the scenery as I saw fit. I had all sorts of plans, which didn't come to fruition. Um, so I ended up doing a few ink drawings, with some with wash, pencil drawings. And I just thought I'd share what I saw. These are not in the order that I drew them, but uh, I think I started with I mean, I, I, there are two drawings I did of the same spot, and this particular one I believe I drew first. And um, street lamp, some guy leaning up against it, the traffic bustling by. Here's the Park Plaza Hotel. Here's the Christian Science Center off in the distance and some new construction happening. And off screen right here is the Boston Public Library. Um, I knew that when I was started doing this drawing, I was going to add wash later. So the 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 line work was meant just to sort of plot the activity and jumble of this into some sort of cohesiveness, so I could understand what I was going to do later. And um, this is what, and I stopped at some point. I just felt if I added anything else, it would help. I went back to the same place a little bit later and drew this one with white pencil on black. This car was not exactly the same car that was there before, but it was stopped in the same illegal spot as it was before. Here you see the Boston Public Library in the background, the four lamp poles going off in perspective. What's nice about Boston is um, the streets were laid out by intelligent or not quite so intelligent cows that were later refined by equally intelligent or not so intelligent humanoids. So there is huge areas of the landscape, cityscape, that is not at right angles. So it may look like my perspective is off, but it isn't. This road does veer off that way and then it goes back that way and there's from this point that way toward the north there is a grid from this point that way and that way it's cows without a compass. So anyway this is the second drawing I did. <clears throat> the rest of the drawings, almost all of the rest of the drawings were of Trinity Church. And Trinity Church um, is a beautiful building, absolutely beautiful building, full of one Victorian cluster fuckage of detail and pattern on top of yet another cluster fuckage. There is a checkerboard pattern over much of it <clears throat> in black and white beige colored stone 
It looks like it was the headquarters or Purina dog chow. Um, you know, if secularism completely takes over, the Purina dog chow company should buy this and make it their corporate office. Um, there's hundreds of little figures in various friezes and on pedestals and on tops of columns. So here's the bottom legs of two saints. Here's a whole bunch of saints or sinners or whatever they all are. There's round columns, there's square columns, there's columns that are one piece of stone, there's other ones that are bricks, and there's, you know, Richardson, who was the architect here, must have had to have a very complicated brain to be able to keep all of this organized. Way up at the top here, there's this herringbone pattern in the bricks, checkerboard herringbone, um, white, black, brown, there's a lot of sort of medium terracotta brown color. It's a beautiful building, just amazing. But it's very difficult. Someone said, when I said, I tried to draw this thing, and, and the other sketcher said, well, God bless you, you know, because it's a fool's errand. There's just too much, too many things competing. And even when I drew just one little tiny corner of it, I had to deal with, you know, this is a hexagonal, an octagonal column, and a round column, and a square column. And, you know, I don't, when I'm drawing it, I'm not paying attention to that. I just think they're all going to be round, and then I realize, oh, I just screwed that up. So it's just a, a really interesting miss, mix and match kind of thing going on. My cat's going to, oh, he's not showing me. Um, again, back with pen and ink. And uh, one of my little, one of these was filled with water, the other was filled with ink, and the water bled with the ink from the fountain pens. See, there's checkerboards again. And the black was solid black, and I was having fun with that. I, I did look across the street at two buildings, and this is the borderline, the boundary between the two, and I love the sort of plate tectonics on the fault line. Not only are the materials sometimes different, but they're generally, you know, the first story is generally the same height, maybe a couple of inches off, but sometimes the further floors up, the, you know, the floor might be 10 feet tall or eight feet tall or whatever. So you have these interesting juxtapositionings going on. This one was very uh, plain and flat. This was very sculptural. And I, I want to do more that are based on that. Another view of Trinity Church, the facade is that way. I'm on the side of the church looking across the portico, I guess. You'd enter the church here um, and try to get the shadow and the light. Um, somehow I exaggerated the capitals here. They're about a third of the size of that I made it here. Um, I miscalculated. Lastly, I drew, here's one of our fellow sketchers. Uh, she was wearing one of my hats I made, which I will show you in a future video, and she was drawing, but she was quickly finishing up the thing as I was just starting this, so I wasn't able to finish this before she got up and walked a few feet to where we all were waiting for people to do their show and tell. Uh, the last drawing I did before this one was this drawing, and there were four cones, bright orange cones, warning pedestrians from tripping over the um, cobble stones here and these large stone um, plates 
what are they? Stones, stones, pavement stones. Um, these are about three foot square and you could easily trip if you weren't, if you were busy playing Tetris on your phone or taking a selfie or even just walking straight ahead, looking straight ahead, you might trip. So these cones keep you from breaking your neck. So then I get home. I get home and what do I do? I sit down on my couch and the cat's on my lap and I'm watching some. Here's my kitty. Hello, Orca. And I'm, you know, you're, I'm talking about you, kitty. And he's purring and I'm purring and a few years ago, I would have poured myself a beer or made a nice gin and tonic, and um, my cat is giving me a little bath right now. Thank you, kitty. But instead, I, my sobriety makes me have to relax in some other way. So I started drawing Trinity Church from memory. And, um, oh, kitty, no, I know you want to rub your face on the camera, but don't do that. Yeah, don't bite me either. So here's this sort of jumble of, it's sort of, uh, I don't know what, Trinity Church in an earthquake. Um, kitty, yeah, you can eat, you can eat those. Yeah, they're very, kitty. Here's the John Hancock Tower with the reflection of the Trinity Church in it. Bite that drawing. There's another one, and finally another one here. And it's just a nice way for me to, without having to look at the building, try to remember what it looked like. And I'm not one of those idiot savants that is able to fly over New York City in a helicopter and go draw every single building with every detail. Um, Anyone can do that. No, not anyone can do that. Only people that are very have a very interesting brain can do that. I don't have one of those brains. I'm not an idiot savant. I'm just an idiot. And um, so I was drawing these things as if they were square towers, but they're actually conical at the top. Um, Kitty, I know, I know. Sorry. Anyway, that's what I did. I, um, it was a fun, fun little outing, and um, I should have. I did do drawings a couple weeks ago of the church that we were right across the street from here that we were drawing, and I drew it looking at the church, but I drew it in this manner. And I think I might like to try that next time. Just start attacking the details, the zigzags, the columns, the figures and then sort of put them together and if they don't match up that's okay. Uh, I, I tend to pay more attention and I try to space things out so that everything will fit right. Kitty, I, I'm about to, I was going to show you a drawing where I did that but you know what I mean. So uh, it was fun. I recommend any of you that live in a city to find out where your and how your local chapter of the Urban Sketchers group meets and hang out with them. It's really quite fun and it gets you out of your normal comfort zone. Or, you know, I often have to draw buildings for clients and of course they don't want them to look like this or like this, or like this. They want them to look exact and perfect. And, oh my God, that can be painful and boring. And to be able to go out and draw buildings, even if you're drawing them realistically, if you don't have that client that you have to please, you'll have fun. I guarantee it. Right, Kitty? Oh, bite me. That's that finger, bad finger. Oh. I'm getting mixed messages, Kitty. Oh. Okay, I guess I better stop before the cat tears me to ribbons. Kitty. Oh, oh, 
Oh, <laughs> you're so funny, kitty. You are such a nut. Oh, bad, bad kitty. Someone left me this note. Yeah, that's what I think of the note, kitty. I don't like anonymous notes. I think someone should take responsibility for the litter they leave as well. Bye.